waking up now, are we? Your head hurts, doesn't it? I can see the pain in your eyes. And now it's replaced by shock. Screaming will do you no good. You're only going to make your throat raw. Yes, I was the one chasing you in the forest back there. And I was the one who knocked you out as well. No, I had nothing to do with your car crash. Who in their right mind, though, turns and goes into the forest after an accident like that? Perhaps you got a concussion, not thinking straight. You say you felt some sort of draw that was pulling you into the forest? Strange. And no, it was not me. I was minding my business until you came along. You simply decided to go into the wrong place at the wrong time. Curiosity got the better of me, I will admit. Not just anyone steps into the dark parts of the woods. Yes, I suppose it was unnecessary for me to hit you like that. But what's done is done. You cannot change what has happened. Perceptive. Are your eyes adjusting to the darkness now? Do you see we are no longer in the forest? We are in my domain. A place no human can get without being taken there by me. I do not have much of a name. I am simply known as the Pumpkin Queen. A spirit born of the essence of Halloween. That holiday, you all dress up as monsters, get drunk, and gorge yourselves on sugary sweets. Halloween wasn't always so light-hearted, though. In the old times, you humans used to worship deities, monsters that you now fear. After you decided to cut them out and stop treating them with respect, they had to find some place to call home. And that place was under my rule. I have no intentions to harm you. You can trust me on that. If I wished to harm you, I could have just killed you back there. Instead of taking you here and tying you up in pumpkin vines. I also have no intention of letting you go. Just as you felt a draw to the forest, I feel a strange draw to you. I am unsure of it myself. Perhaps it is what you people consider love sickness. 
That is something I will discover over time. After the sun rises, there will be no way for you to return to your home. You will be trapped here for another three months at least. If by then I decide to let you go, then you are free. But do not get your hopes up. If you look up to the sky, the moon is crimson. Yes, I suppose it wasn't that noticeable earlier. But past tonight, the moon will return to what you know as normal. The barrier between my domain and yours will be closed off until the moon is red again. So while you are here, I would recommend trying to be careful. It's dangerous here. And even my patience may wear thin. I cannot promise your safety if you slip up. So try to be on your best behavior, human. Fine. If you say I cannot want you without knowing anything about you, then why not start talking? Tell me who you are. Every little thing. Perhaps if you end up boring me, I'll let you go. But you better start talking quickly. Time is running short, and if you run out of time, you will be stuck here for quite some time. Then again, there is also a risk with that. If after hearing you talk, I decide I truly want you to stay here, you won't be returning home, period. You will be by my side for eternity. But would that truly be such a bad thing? If you stay by my side, you too would be considered royalty of this domain. All of the creatures here would bow their heads to you. Can you say you have such the same importance in your little world? I think not. Here, by my side, you could have everything you wish for. All it would take is giving up your old life. And giving your new one to me. So, little pumpkin, make your choice. Do you risk letting me know more about you? Or are you willing to wait the three months and play a game on if I will bore of you? It is purely your choice. But you better decide quickly. The moon's color will fade soon. Your time is ticking.